Hey guys, what is up? It is Dominic. And in this video, we're going to be covering payments and products inside of Go High Level. I have not made a specific video on this. I have a few videos in my free course, but High Level has recently changed a lot of their payment and product structure. So I'm going to cover kind of the newer tab, which is payments and everything inside of here, and even show you guys examples of what happens when someone does pay. I'm going to talk about one step and two step order forms and try to just break down everything. I know this is definitely a topic that people have a lot of questions about, especially when setting up their SaaS. You know, how do I do Stripe ID? How do I do this? Connect this, this, this. I get questions all the time about this. So hopefully this video answers all those questions. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, I am Dominic Baptist. I am one of the top affiliates in the world for Go High Level, which is actually being branded now as High Level. And when you use my affiliate link to sign up, you actually get 30 days for free, not 14 days. You get 30 days for free with me, an extended free trial. I also have a free course on all of this. You can take that right now. You don't have to sign up with my affiliate link. You can just take the course now. And then if you do decide to sign up with me and use my affiliate link, you get another course with a completely free white labeled onboarding. So you can see down here, I have an onboarding tab that a lot of you may not have. We click right here and it takes you to a complete onboarding tutorial. This is for your clients. It's completely white labeled. It goes over all the basics of go high level, which means you are literally going to just get clients, feed them this video, and they will learn themselves. Obviously you're going to help them and the videos are structured so that you are a service-based company, but it's very, very nice. You don't have to go through and make all these videos. Trust me, it will save you so much time. And if you're not my affiliate and you can't switch over, you can actually get this for a hundred dollars. I'm selling it right now for a hundred bucks, very affordable. And that will be in the link in the description as well. Also, as my affiliate, you get so much more than just the course. You get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with me. I answer all your questions. You can join our affiliates only Facebook group and there is way more to come. So enough about that. Let's talk about the payments tab. So the first thing that they really adapted on was invoices. They have a really nice invoice structure now. They didn't have this before when I first started. So it's really nice to have this as an option, especially for clients because clients need invoices. And I was hearing that all the time from clients. Hey, can I get an invoice structure? How do I do this? How can I send invoices using this? And I'd always kind of be like, well, you can use Stripe and this and that but at the end of the day, it's so nice that finally we have a beautiful structured invoice system inside of high level. So of course, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on plus new and you can see right here, just like any other invoice, it's super easy to set up. Very simple. looks great. You can add notes and terms. You can pick the item name right here, have the item price, have your little logo right there, everything else structured on the far right with the personal information, name, number, email, all that stuff. So whether you're doing this for your own agency and for yourself, or whether you're doing it for clients and setting it up for them, it's really nice to have this invoice structure. I think it's so easy to go through. It's just like any other invoice structure. So if you've done anything on Stripe, PayPal, whatever you used before, this is uh, pretty much the same thing. You know, if we click on add item down here, it's just going to show you all the items that you've already made, the products, the services, etc. And we're going to cover that in a second. And then you can even make a new item straight from the invoice tab. So could not be simpler. That is invoices. And at the end of this, I'm going to cover the automations and the workflows that go with invoices and all the new things they added with that. And then of course, once you've created an invoice and sent an invoice, you're going to see all of the actions over here. We've got the invoice name, the invoice number, the customer, the issue date, due date, amount, and status. The next two tabs at the top, we have orders and transactions. These are pretty self-explanatory. If you have multiple orders or multiple transactions, it's just going to show you everything that you need to know about that order and about that transaction. I'm not going to go inside of these because they're extremely self-explanatory and I have personal information in them. So I'm just not going to open them up, but you get the gist. If someone orders something off of your funnel or whatever it is, or a client's funnel or a client's invoice, you're going to see the orders and transactions there. This is really good for when you're like maybe pushing a product or service inside of a funnel and you make the product there instead of doing like an actual invoice that you're sending to someone. Let's say you have a service. Your service is like $97 a month for text messaging or something like this. That is where the orders and transactions will go. You will see them in there. But how do you make that product or service? Well, you do that in the products tab. So if you've gone through my free course setup at all and you've set up high level, then you know exactly what this page is. But you still may not know a lot of the other features about it. So the first thing I want to bring up is what's the difference between importing from Stripe and creating a new product? Well, importing from Stripe means it's already in Stripe. So when you're doing a SaaS product, when you're doing one of your SaaS configurator products, and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like right now, here is SaaS configurator. It's already inside of Stripe. So you have to import it from Stripe. So I know this can be confusing, especially when you're setting up SaaS for the first time. But if I change any of these products, they're automatically going to change. The Stripe ID and everything is going to change inside of my Stripe account because they're integrated that way. And that is why when setting up SaaS, you import from Stripe. You do not create a new product. So for instance, we would click import from Stripe. So the first thing we do is we pick the actual product here. And these are the products and services that we created inside of Stripe or the SaaS configurator products that were automatically created for us. For instance, this is that 497 customer 
custom plan that you saw at the end there. It's right here, agency plan, and then another one that says agency plan. If you keep scrolling down, we have a 997, 897. These are ones that I have custom made inside of Stripe for different clients, so nothing too crazy there, but that is how the import from Stripe feature works. And then you can even add setup fees right here. If you wanted to do a $300 setup fee or something like that, you can do that and that will automatically import to Stripe as well. But I have a different form, a different way of doing setup fees, and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. The next thing I wanna cover is creating a new product. So when and why would you create a new product instead of import from Stripe? Here's why. Because unless it's the SaaS configurator, you don't really need to create the product in Stripe if you can just create it here and it will automatically create in Stripe as well. They did a great job with this integration. So I make a lot of my products inside of Go High Level. I do not have to make them inside of Stripe. But why would I create a product inside of Go High Level that's not connected to SaaS configurator? Well, if I'm running Facebook ads for someone and that's not included in my 297 plan, which is something that I do, I'm going to charge an additional $500 a month to run those ads. As you can see down here, Facebook ad services is $4.97 a month. This is an extra add-on service, completely different than my SaaS configurator, which means I have to go to create new product. I have to name the product and we would say Facebook ads services. And then we've got the product description. We would obviously just probably put the exact same thing, um, but we'd add a little bit more. And then we've got product type. So this is where it's a product or a service. It's basically a digital good or a physical good or a service. So in this case, we're going to do a service. If we were doing a SaaS, it'd be a digital good. And if we were doing a physical product and we were pushing like a book or something like that, that we were actually selling and shipping out to someone, it would be a physical good, of course. But for now, we're going to do a service. And then we've got pricing. So for the name of the price, I'm just going to put in $4.97 and then I'll probably do slash mo 497 a month and then for the product price we're going to put in 497 and then we're going to do recurring because this is a service build monthly and then you can even do additional options have a price description a trial period if you want to run it that way once again in SaaS, it is different if you're doing it in SaaS, the trial period is done through SaaS configurator do not overcomplicate this trust me but if this has nothing to do with the SaaS configurator and you're not importing it from stripe this is where you set all that stuff up so I hear that all the time. How do I give a free trial for this or that? It's all done in the product section. You can do it all right here. So you're going to make the price description, the number of trial period days, let's say 14. And then we've got number of payments. And what this means, if you go over to the question mark icon, they tell you right here, subscription will be canceled after these many payments, but will retain the access to the purchase. So this is really nice, has way more control over it when you start putting in parameters like this. And then of course we have setup fees. If you want to put a setup fee right here, you can. But once again, I'm going to show you a better way, in my opinion, if you're running it through a funnel system, which I think most products would be run through a funnel system, I'm going to show you a better way to do that through a bump product. A lot of you may know what a bump product is, but I'm going to show you how to make one. And then you can even have a membership offer toggle on switch. So if you wanted to run Facebook ads or you're doing some type of service like this and you want to automatically give them a course to go with it, this is a great way to do that. And then you're going to click create this product. And there it is, Facebook ad services. I can now send this to anyone I want, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well. It will also be connected to my lead connector app. So I'll be able to import products from there and send it straight through my phone, which is very, very nice. I don't want to be by my laptop at all times. If I'm meeting with a client, I don't have my laptop and I want to just be able to easily send them an invoice. I want to be able to do so on my phone. So I'm very happy about all the new updates that Go High Level offered, especially inside of the mobile app. Lead connector definitely kind of needed an upgrade and it got one. And then the last two are going to be tax settings, which is brand new. And you can add tax to the top right here, do the name, the rate, the description, all that stuff. This is basically a way to just be extremely organized and you know your accountant can come in and look at all this stuff. My accountant actually handles all my stuff through Stripe, so I don't even worry about this, but it's nice to have in here. And then lastly, of course, we have the integrations tab. This is where you're gonna integrate Stripe and or PayPal. PayPal is a little bit more difficult to integrate. Uh, maybe if you're in a different country, different continent, whatever it is, and you cannot get Stripe under any circumstance and you have to use PayPal, then definitely use the how to find PayPal API keys because yes, there is definitely a system here. It's not as easy as just signing in like Stripe, but it's possible. You can definitely do it. Just watch the videos right here. So now I'm going to show you exactly how to set up these funnels, how to set up products, what you're going to see inside of these systems when you do create products in funnels and exactly how that works. So now we're going to go to Dom's one-on-one -on -one setup. I just created this. It was seven days ago. Haven't even publicly gone live with it. I've talked about it a couple times in videos. 
but I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one setup where I'll hop on a Zoom with you and I will make sure your entire account gets set up. It's a one-time payment of $300, which is how much Go High Level charges for their setup. So I felt like I would position myself in the same way. And you're also gonna get me. It's one-on-one -on -one time with me. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do. We're gonna talk through it. We're gonna you know, go through absolutely everything and you can ask me as many questions as you want. So I think this is a good way for me to manage my time. And I also think it's good for a lot of you guys who just wanna get that setup done with. So I made a product in here inside of the funnel. You can see there's a little version two up here. What that means is there's now a one-step order form back in the day there was only a two-step order form so when they introduced the one-step order form you had to upgrade that funnel to a version two in order to kind of implement it i don't really know all the tech behind that but all i know is if you want to do one-step order form you got to upgrade to version two it doesn't do anything. It takes like 10 seconds. It's not that hard. It's not going to like ruin your funnel or anything. So don't worry about that. But let's go to the edit funnel page here. So as you can see, I use the same structure as my other funnel. I think it works really well. And all you're going to do is click for a one on one setup and it's going to pull up the pop up. And as you can see, you can easily just purchase the product right here. I did a quick one step order form. I did not want to do the two step. I thought the one step is a little bit better, more advanced and very easy to just fill out the information, complete the order and you're good to go. And if you're wondering how I did that, you're just going to click the plus icon right here scroll all the way down and there it is two step and one step order forms and then you go and edit that over here in the left the only thing you're really editing on the product page is you know personal information complete one-on-one -on -one setup with dom all the things in the advanced section i'm not going to cover that i cover that in the free course so you can go watch all of those over there it's also pretty self-explanatory but it just adds a little bit of customization on your one step order form product in order to actually get the products from the payments tab to the funnel you have to go inside of the funnel itself and then go over to the product section right over here next to overview and publishing. Now, this is a very common mistake. People do not understand how to get the product over to the funnel. They're like, hey, I put in the order form, but where do I actually upload the product itself? Well, that is right here. If you have 10 products, but you only want one of them inside of this funnel, this is where you're going to add that product just like that. And if you've already created the product in the payments tab, like we did earlier, then you know that you can easily just search for the product right here and pick which one that you want. Dom's GHL one-on-one -on -one setup. Very simple, very easy to do. But here's the thing that I wanted to bring up before. If you're trying to add a setup fee, this is where I would set it up as a bump product. So if you go to additional options right here, you can just click bump product. So if I was going to make a setup fee, I would create it in the products tab. I would say, hey, setup fee is one time payment of 297 and it's called the setup fee. And then I would create a bump product. I would click that and make it a bump product. And what that does is when they're checking out and they're putting in their information, they're going to see a bump product. So it's going to pop up right there and say, Hey, would you also like to purchase this? So it's just a really good way of kind of funneling them into purchasing the setup fee. And all they have to do is click yes or no. You know, they're just going to click the little check mark. Yes, they want it or not. So that is a bump product. If you have multiple products, one or two, whatever it is, and you want one of them just to be a bump, basically it's an upsell, then click the bump product on that product itself. And that is how you create bump products and how I personally do setup fees. I also wanna show you what it looks like in the statistics page when you get a sale. So you can see right here, I have already launched this. I haven't launched it publicly, but we've launched it and we already got a sale, one for $300. So we've had 57 people on the page, 57 views, and we did get a sale for 300, which means our earnings and page view is $5.26 per one page view and then $8.11 per unique page view. So that's not bad. I'm happy with those conversion rates for someone who hasn't even really launched this publicly yet. I've just put it in my course, but I haven't even talked about it publicly with my group. So I'm happy that we got a sale for multiple reasons. So I can test out how this is gonna work for me and my time. And also so I can make a video like this and show you how I set all this up. And last but not least, the automation section. So this is where you're gonna automate everything. Having products and having services is great, but if you're not told when someone purchases something, it means nothing. You know, when someone purchased my one-on-one -on -one service and I wasn't there and I didn't receive an automation, I didn't receive a text message, I would have had to just check Stripe and been like, oh, someone bought something for $300 and I have to go find out what that is. I need to be reminded. I need automation and they need to be reminded too. So here's what we're going to do. So here I am inside of the one-on-one -on -one Go High Level Setup Order Form. So the first thing that we did is we're going to click on the trigger event. This trigger event, yes, it looks a little complicated. I promise it's very simple. Our workflow trigger is the order form submission. Which order form submission is it? It's Dom's GHL Setup. So our trigger event is when someone purchases the one step order form titled Dom's GHL setup. Now we need to filter this down. It's going to be inside of the funnel Dom's one-on-one -on -one setup. The page is SAS. The product is Dom's full GHL setup and submission type is 
sale. Yes, that seems like a lot. I promise it is not. I just needed to get it all the way down to sale. I needed them to know, hey, this is when there is a sale. And yes, you don't need all of these. I just wanted to be very safe and want to make sure that nothing goes wrong and that this is completely set up and that I get notified immediately when someone purchases this because it is a time sensitive service. I need to perform the service in one to three days. So I need to know. The first thing that's going to happen is an internal notification. Contact name just ordered Dom's one-on-one -on -one GHL setup. So I want to be notified about that. And that is just a regular notification that'll pop up on my lead connector app. I then did a second notification for SMS. So now I'm gonna receive a text message as well. I just wanted to be safe. I wanted two notifications for this. And then I did an SMS. So this is an automatic message that's gonna reach out to the person that just purchased it. And it's gonna give them all the instructions and tell them what's next. And then I did the same thing with the email. So it's all right here. It's gonna send them an email and a text message. So they will be completely notified that they purchased it and what the next move is. But if we go to the trigger events right here, there are actually more trigger events to choose from than just one step order form. So if we scroll all all the way down here, we have a trigger event called invoice, which is under payments. This is not an order form submission. This is an invoice. So if you're running any type of invoice structure, you want to push that out. So now I'm inside a new workflow specifically for invoices. So we're going to click on the invoice trigger seat. So we have the invoice trigger that we were just on previously. And then you have your filters here. So the invoice status is paid. So whenever we know that the invoice is paid, what happens next? Now we want to be sent an internal notification. And I structured this one the same way as before. It's gonna be a regular notification and then it's gonna be a text message notification. And then it's going to send an SMS to the person that paid the invoice saying thank you. So, so that is how you structure the invoices versus the order forms. They are two completely different things which require two completely different automations. So all in all, I really hope that summarized everything up inside of payments, products, services, all that fun stuff that you're going to be doing inside of Go High Level because there's so many different things that I think all of you guys are gonna do creatively and that requires more products, more services, more automations, and more customization for you and your business. And I think your clients are going to love it even more than you. So hopefully that helped you guys a lot. And if it did, then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a ton. And also check out that link in the description below where you can get all those free courses I talked about in the beginning. Use my affiliate link for that 30 day free trial and a couple more courses and some calls with me. And then join our Facebook group where we all talk about Go High Level constantly, the most active Facebook group in the entire game. So I will see you guys in there. And most importantly, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.